Disaster recovery teams from FEMA canvassing in St. Johnsbury and Barrie today, asking people to fill out a survey about any damage to their properties after flooding on July 9th through the 11th, a declaration which the federal government approved yesterday. But as our Lucy Kale shows us, despite the survey, people who need assistance after two floods are worried FEMA won't come through. And you're always going to think about everything that you had to throw away. A buried basement battered and unusable after two floods. The single mom of four who lives here wants to remain anonymous but still share her story. The year before we couldn't get any help. We, FEMA came and looked at what happened and said that they'd come back and we never heard from them again. FEMA funds are limited. A representative says there might be about $750 per damage location available for individuals, but they do keep track of which places still need help mucking out or any other labor needed. And Governor Scott says he doesn't know how much of the money will come in. But obviously with seven counties uh, that are, that are uh, declared at this point, for both individual assistance and public assistance, um, I can't tell you how nervous everyone is uh, in terms of where's the money going to come from. But the Barry mom says not getting federal assistance just adds the lack of help from anyone, including the city with help cleaning the streets or getting state aid. We're on our own. We're stranded. We just got flooded out and nobody is throwing us a, a life, life preserver. We're just and we're on our own. So as FEMA disaster recovery teams canvassed her street Wednesday, she says she hopes this time the funds will come. You know, we don't go around looking for a handout. We want a hand up. We want to be able to help our kids. We want to be able to do it ourselves, and we can't. Governor Scott says until the money comes through, the state is going to keep picking up the pieces with the money it has. But we're pushing forward. We're still making a lot of improvements. Uh, getting things back online, but we have a long ways to go. This is going to be a long-term recovery. Reporting in Barrie, Lucy Kale, Channel 3 News.